Yesterday, we started on building a duck blind. But I think to tell the full story, we need to back up a little bit. We build duck blinds all the time, nothing too cool about that. But this one is gonna be a handicap accessible duck blind. So really excited about that. As a landowner, we kinda of need to acknowledge how fortunate and blessed we are just to be in this position. One of the best parts of my job is dealing with landowners. In general, they are some of the most humble and generous people that I know. A lot of them donate hunts to disabled people, uh, hooked on fishing down here in East Peoria, set up to handle uh, wheelchair access for fishing. But we didn't know of any place that was set up to handle handicapped wheelchair access for waterfowl hunting. So we thought that we'd be in a position that we could help change that. You need to remember that we have no idea what we're doing. None, right? So we get together and start coming up with ideas on what we think could work, and it's a little more challenging than we expected. So all of our ideas, uh, for one reason or another, wouldn't work. So we kind of put a stop to what we're doing, called Brandon Tomey, had him come over, uh, give us some advice on what we needed to do to make this thing function. You know, it's a little more challenging now, so I uh, put yeah. that on. And you're, you, you also set your crack to crop edge my foot to cost six. Six by now. So, <laughs> you had that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so after talking to Brandon, we're back on track. We can't thank him enough for his time. After talking to him, we came up with a complete redesign, uh, simplified redesign, but something that we think is gonna work a little better. Your common floor, but we did a reduced wall height in the front. So instead of your standard four foot, whatever that is, we dropped that elevation down to, uh, I think it was 40 inches. It might, have, might have even been a little smaller than that. Uh, the rest of it was um, fairly similar. We increased the width of it to about six foot. And then the rest was uh, fairly standard. So we came out with your roof line. That's a great roof line. The rest is the same there. But what we did is we increased the size of the um, opening. So I believe it was a four foot opening in the back, right centered. So, and then we smoothed the trail out coming down to the blind. So handicap access will be through the back and then you could um, either hunt either side of the blind. So we're kind of playing with this height right here. Um, if we need to lower it, we can always kind of notch some of these things out. But for right now, uh, we think it's gonna work pretty well. Access through the back through an oversized door with an oversized width and a lower uh, front wall for easier shooting. From there, we found a spot to put it out at double cluck, something with nice, easy van access and a good spot overlooking a, uh, a flooded cornfield. So it should be a good spot. We ordered all the materials, had them delivered to, the, to double cluck and all the guides built the thing in the shop, pretty much prefabbed all the walls. So when we showed up yesterday, everything was ready to go. We loaded it all up onto the trailer, headed out to the site, met Ryan Pudick. Can't thank Ryan enough. Ryan handles the... Uh, land services side here at Landco, donated his time and his equipment and helped us out with the site work for the duck blind. Easiest access for wheelchair. So we're hoping to build a runway right here between the two sets of trees without damaging, without losing the trees. Built the ramp, come down here and the blind will set essentially right where you guys are standing facing straight that way. He came in and kind of elevated a site for us so the, so the blind sat a little higher. A nice flat site with some tapered edges and then uh, equally as important worked on the approach from the duck blind back to where the van would park. So we have a nice smooth approach uh, to get to the duck blind. All right so check this out. Ryan is gone. Uh, all the bobcat work is done. It looks awesome. Check this out. So I have a trail going to the blind. Bringing some bones or something, kind of take it up to it. We got a nice flat site here. Tape it all the way down. We're looking some soon to be flooded corn. So that worked out perfectly. From there, we just started building the duck blind. Okay, so for the most part we're done. Everything turned out as good as we could have hoped for. 
There's a few final touches we need to make. We're going to haul in some millings and kind of compact them so we have a nice smooth approach for, uh, for the wheelchairs. We need to cut in some uh, shooting holes and obviously we need to brush it. But this will be functional for this coming waterfowl season, 2017. So if you know anybody that you think could benefit from this, have them get in touch with us and we'd love to take them out. So I'd like to thank Double Cluck. They know, donated the materials. Um, thank the guides out there. They helped, helped us build it. I'd like to thank Ryan Pudick with the land services side of Landco. He donated his time and equipment. And I'd like to thank Brandon Tomey. Uh, without his advice, we'd probably still be uh, headed the wrong directions.